Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. For it is today, Tuesday, October 8th. And my coffee's still hot. That's a good thing. Uh, right now, I'm just compressing yesterday's vlog, and that should go up soon. It is about 22 after 9 in the morning. Uh, I also got an email from a client through the dance recital stuff, so they wanted a DVD made, so I had to bring out the DVD duplicator. Although I only need to print one, <clears throat> I gotta bring out the big duplicator because I can do nine at a time. But right now it's copying the main uh, master copy. It's gotta copy it into its hard drive and then I have to put in blank DVDs and then it will make a new DVD. Um, I have to print a label too. So today is the Independence Day of Croatia. So happy Independence Day to your Croatians. Croatians? That's right, Croatians. Uh, I also f uh, apologize, I forgot to do uh, and talk about and congratulate Germany for Unity Day. Uh, happy Unity Day for the Germans. My German fans, followers, awesome peoples. Hope you guys had a good sausage and a beer. Uh, so today is just finishing this up, doing that, still transferring data, uh, and then I have to go and do a food review, gra grab water while I'm up there, cat food. Sunny's in her princess bed. I had to make a, the princess bed again because she was uh, she was bugging me last night. And so she gets the princess bed. Right, Sunny? Aww. Hi, people. <laughs> There's Ninja. Ninja. Cute kitty. Uh, Sam is in bed, and Louie is up in Megan's room. I'm not sure if I told you, but Louie now can get down the stairs, because uh, it's a, as you can see, it's a pull down staircase ladder, and uh, all the cats could go up it. Uh, Ninja can go up and down it like nothing there, so like, brum, brum because he's young and energetic. Uh, Sunny goes up fast, but she comes down a little bit slower, and Louie comes down really slow. Uh, but I'm so glad he comes down, because we used to have to actually put him in a duffel bag and bring him down. And uh, we got to the point where he trained himself to get in the duffel bag. He just opened the duffel bag, he would jump in it, because he knew that was the only way he could get down. It was pretty smart. Uh, so I'm gonna get this done, get it out. And um, yeah, Thirsty Thursdays is going up today at 12 noon. Not that you'll see this until after that, but uh, yeah, so let's get busy. I'm just about to go out and do my food review and I got a good laugh because Carol took my car just in case Megan needed this car because this is automatic. Uh, this is the Honda. And uh, so I got a good laugh because Carol knows how sloppy I eat in my car. So she put a towel down, <laughs> but she was nice enough to pull out my, uh, uh, cell phone holders because I would need them. I would suck if they were in the other car. All right, so we're off to Dairy Queen. I thought I'd stop in at the Lafroy post office because Steve has been tracking his bag of chips to me and says they should be in. So let's go check and see if our chips are in. Morning. Morning. Oh boy, we got it. Oh, if I can put it in there. Election garbage. Recycle. But we want this. Yay, Steve. We've got your package here. All the way from Pennsylvania. Nice. So we'll uh, do a live food review on Periscope for that. So thank you very much, Steve. You rock. Uh, this, I think I'm gonna get another another bag of them. Maybe I'll do one of them on the big channel. I don't know. But uh, people, I've done the other three on a periscope. So I gotta put my seatbelt on before somebody yells at me. Put your seatbelt on. Okay, guys, I'm just finished up uh, the Dairy Queen thing. I gotta get back home, pick up Megan, take her to the dentist, and I'm running late. Dang nabbit! 
I took way too long on that uh, review of the Dairy Queen artisan sandwich, which you guys will see later on today. All right, I am heading up to Alcona to grab a bunch of turkeys. I'm not sure how many I'm gonna need, uh, or chickens. Um, I got kind of conflicting information from two people at the Berry Food Bank. Uh, Peter, who's like the head CEO kind of guy, uh, the director, let's call him. Uh, he he said, "Oh, we got we're getting plenty of turkeys from a radio station, so we're pretty good for turkeys. But what we need maybe is like uh, boxes of stuffing and stuff like that." Uh, but on the Friday, I phoned. I guess an assistant manager or whatever, and uh, for, uh, I can't remember her title either. She uh, so she phoned me back on Monday after I got back from the food bank, and uh, she said, "Oh, what we need is chickens for the the single um, dwelling person uh, who doesn't have a family to eat a whole turkey. This turkey is too big." So. I'm in, I'm in conflict right now, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably phone up there just to triple check. But I wanna buy a bunch of stuff. I, d I didn't have time to involve you guys. I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, I was talking to Megan about it, and she, she said uh, that we could possibly uh, do it for Christmas, and we could do a food drive for Christmas time. Um, there's just so many things happening and I was, and things get in the way. I gotta start concentrating and doing things like three weeks early as opposed to waiting the week of like I did this week and then have a catastrophe of losing all your data and trying to recover it. So uh, I'm gonna just do this on my own, this one, and uh, yeah, it'll still be good. Okay, we're in Alcona at No Frills. This is John's No Frills. A lot of you probably already know that. So let's go see how much chickens and turkeys are. So I managed to grab uh, five turkeys and five boxes of stuffing. Because you can't have turkey without stuffing. All right, 16 items or less, that's us. All righty, we we're at the buried food drop-in. We're gonna drop in, drop off our turkeys. And we are here. All right guys, I'm at uh, the Berry Food Bank and dropped off the five turkeys, five stuffings, which is great. And then Evie, she's just saying, this is all the stuff that they need. Pasta, craft dinner. We should do like a crazy craft, Ken's crazy craft dinner drive and get like, see how much it costs to buy a skid of craft dinner and buy that for the food bank. We had that last night for dinner and they got, they need cereal, they need sugar, they need lunch meat. And this is not just my town, people. This is your town, too. So do whatever you can to help out. I am. Oh, we could do also Ken's crazy corn drive. <laughs> All right, guys. It's Friday, October 9th. That's when I finished off yesterday's vlog. After I dropped off the turkeys, came home, continued doing data. Uh, moving data around, <laughs> data recovery. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've stopped doing the data recovery stuff. I'm just trying to move files to get free up drives and stuff. That's all I'm doing right now. Uh, anyway, so that, oh, and then, um, so we had uh, Carol brought home one of those cooked chickens that you can buy from the grocery store. So we had chicken and stuff uh, for dinner right in the middle of me trying to figure out all this data stuff. Um, and then uh, I watched the football game and I had to go pick up Ben at 11. So I did a periscope from uh, Wendy's and I came back and stayed up till one o'clock in the morning doing uh, data transfer. I also watched The Late Show, uh, Jimmy Fallon. I, I usually watch his uh, YouTube stuff. And so last night I was up the right time to watch the whole show while I was doing my data recovery or data transfer stuff. And now it's time for Happy Birthday Shadows for Friday, October 9th. And it seems to be a special day because I know three people in there. So, uh, Eric, happy birthday. Max uh, is Paul's neighbor. Uh, Valerie, Jamil, and JP from Healthy Junk Food. Happy birthday, sir. And Rachel, uh, who's a friend of mine from Barbados, and I've known her for a very, very long time. Happy birthday to every one of you. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment in the comments section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or ate out. Happy birthday.